Yo, why is your logic pro session crashing like that? Huh? Why though? Let's find out. So there's two reasons to why your Logic Pro session is either laggy or it's crashing. First one possibly is the buffer size. Second one, your computer might be struggling on storage. Easiest one to solve right now is your buffer size. I got a Logic Pro session open up right here. I'm going to scroll up to the upper left hand corner, bring down the drop menu. I'm going to hit Logic Pro. I'm going to go down to settings. I'm gonna go to audio. This window pops up. Now I'm gonna change my IO buffer size. Right now I'm on 32 samples, which is perfect for recording. But when you're trying to play things back or you're mixing and you're adding plugins, you are stressing your computer out right now. So we're gonna up the buffer size. We're gonna go to the max, which is 1024 and click apply. The more complicated one is your computer is out of storage, sis. Bruh, you stressing your thing out. You watching YouTube videos, subscribe. You paying your bills on the computer and you watching performance art on your computer and you're taking up a lot of storage. One of the ways in Logic you can check your CPU is if you come up to your mode display. Come up here, click that arrow that's on the side, scroll down to custom and as you see you see cpu this is a blank session so cpu is not stressed out but if you open this and you notice your cpu bar is loaded guess what your computer is stressing and bugging out one of the quick things you can do real quick is make sure there's nothing else open on your computer but logic so close your itunes close your spotify close your youtube only have logic open that's one quick way to alleviate some stress on your cpu one good thing to check is check your computer specs how do you do that i'm gonna go up to my apple logo go to system settings i'm just gonna type in storage click here i just want to check out how much storage i have so i got a computer that's strictly dedicated to recording if you don't you're probably using a lot more storage than i am a long-term suggestion on how to fix that is to buy an external hard drive and save all your sessions on there. Now, there are certain external hard drives that I suggest that you get. Let's go to Amazon real quick and check out some options I feel that are really good. So you don't wanna spend too much on the external hard drive, but you also don't wanna go a cheap route because you get what you pay for. And like these, I'm just looking at, I don't trust. I'ma go to a brand that I do trust. So I'm gonna go to Glyphs. You don't wanna go cheap on an external hard drive. You you can probably get away with the 500 gigabyte ones but i say at least a terabyte because it's going to last you for years and you're not going to have to worry about it so i'm going to leave a couple of links in the description on good external hard drives so you don't have to go too crazy on picking which external hard drive can work for you and listen good luck on your logic pro session if you're working on music put it in the comment section i want to i would love to check it out i'm very curious what you guys are working on and we on our way to 1k subscribers if you can be a part of that i super appreciate it and i catch y'all next time this should be your man Chill smith we out hit him with the deuces gone